Hello and welcome. F1 is finally back in 2024 and so are our prediction series. And just like last season, I'm joined by the amazing Captain AJX. Hello, 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 hello. It's good to be back. It's good to be predicting. Yes, yeah, uh, hopefully for a ex more exciting season as well. <laughs> yes, <laughs> we can only have our fingers crossed. Yeah, well, remember the last season where it was a basically a free point for putting Max P1 everywhere. <laughs> yeah, pretty much. There was well, like one or two races where it didn't happen, but uh, yeah, otherwise you were silly not to. Yeah. Okay, I'm gonna move into the prediction sheet itself to. All the viewers can see it. We're pretty much having the same layout as last year, just a bit enhanced and added the fastest lap as well uh, for further predictions, I guess. Anyways, um, the, could your first thoughts into the season, like what are your general thoughts on the, how it's going to go and what are your thoughts on preseason testing as well? Yeah. Oh, my thoughts. Yeah, my yeah, yours, 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 <laughs> sorry. I, uh, yeah, yeah, I think uh, pre-season testing didn't really reveal a lot uh, for us. I think uh, it looks like Red Bull are still number one. Maybe Ferrari are closing in as well as McLaren, but uh, not close enough yet. Mercedes don't seem to have the best car ever, but uh, I certainly think it's got something about it, especially considering that they've changed basically their whole ideal plan uh, <laughs> the whole design of the car uh, the biggest shock though looks to be that the alpines are incredibly incredibly slow yeah uh, and there's a lot of uh, news coming out from that factory that we'll, uh, we'll have to see about in the next couple of weeks whether or not they're true um but yes it does look like it we're going to start off the season east very similar to how we ended last one yeah uh, that's a uh, little thought as well before we went into the season. Obviously, my predictions don't actually reflect on that. That was much more of a more of a hopeful thinking of mine. But here, I'm actually going to try my predictions. So <laughs> no Ferrari was winning. <laughs> oh, yeah. Okay. We'll get to that later. Obviously. Um, yeah. Based on my thoughts, uh, pretty much have the same thoughts as you. Uh, big shock with the Alpine being a uh, little. Well, an amazing fight for P9 in the championship between Haas and Alpine, I guess. Uh, Mercedes look very, very confused about their uh, about their new car, but at least they, they think that it has some potential for further upgrades. It looks all right. Yes. It doesn't look like super quick. Uh, obviously, they both may... Of them, uh, yeah. I was going to say, both of them at least said they enjoyed driving it. Yeah, that's uh, obviously... Uh, and already an improvement over the last two years. It's uh, finally moved moved away from the zero pod, which was well, <laughs> reinvented by another team. Uh, Red Bull uh, brought out their RB20 and it shocked everyone, even though we expected Red Bull to be the fastest car. We didn't expect them to bring out a uh, seemingly not working concept of another team from previous seasons. Yeah. Yeah, it's uh, definitely it's 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 a lot different. Yeah. McLaren, Aston look pretty much like RB nineteen with some upgrades, and Ferrari, Ferrari actually chose to go their own way, which is interesting. I mean, hopefully, we can have some competition from them, and uh, that's pretty much it. RB or whatever Racing Bulls team that is. Uh, I'm gonna let you call it whatever you want. I'm probably gonna call it the Racing Bulls. Uh, here I call it Toro Rosso yeah. in the spreadsheet because uh, we're gonna have Toro Rosso. Yeah, I might still call it Toro Rosso by accident, and it hasn't been that for years. So. <laughs> yeah, I, I put it as Toro Rosso because I was uh, initially I was putting as RB, but there's Red Bull is like very confusing. I just don't want to. I'm gonna make it confusing. A Toro Rosso is pretty much. Like the, that team is Toro Rosso, but with a white stripe and a weird two weird sponsors. Um, good that I didn't mention. Williams looks like an improvement, but also like they stagnated in that P7 spot. And Sauber slash whatever team 
Uh, they look like pretty much they remained where they were last season as well. And yeah, uh, shall we move to the predictions themselves so we don't uh, waste your time anymore uh, with our waffle? No, Quali- no, no. Yeah, qualifying. No. Uh, do you want to start? Yeah, okay. Uh, a qualifying, you know what? <laughs> There's only one man for it. <laughs> I'm sticking to the bit. <laughs> Okay, I think I screwed up the uh, format. And that, uh, you can put it there, I'm just going to uh, revert the format. Well, I was going to type it, maybe. Is that better? Um, I think, yeah, so this, this is way more efficient when I have to there do it this way. Uh... <laughs> okay, okay. Well, let, let's leave like that. Yeah, I'm going to fix it uh, later on, obviously. Uh, okay, Max is having for pole position. Not a big shock there from your side. Uh, so... I think it needs explanation. I'm gonna put Max stuff in as well. Um, just that that car looks crazy, crazy good, even more dominant than last year. And uh, uh, even though I had my hopes hopes up before preseason testing, you know, I'm I'm even more pessimistic about this season than I've been after the end of the last one. Just yeah that's I, fair that's fair yeah we, we we both said we had our hopes up but no we do not indeed <laughs> yeah, we yeah we really were uh unpleasantly surprised by the testing and we specifically i already hoped for some competition this year i just had that kind of feeling that someone would actually change red bull and they, 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 they built even better car for some reasons so, yeah yeah <laughs> Here's for more, more Max P1 predictions. Uh, your P2, that should be more interesting as uh, this is basically the P1 apart from, if you exclude Max. I'm going to go for Carlos. Wow. I uh, I feel I feel he has a little bit of a, a you know, something to prove, will I, can I say. And I think uh, because of that, he's definitely going to try a lot more this season, try to uh, be at his best and to uh, get a few shock results and that Ferrari doesn't look too slow, if I uh, do say so myself. So uh, I think uh, they're going to be a close run battle there. Yeah, it's a very interesting pick. Uh, Carlos looked very quick in testing, so the fastest lap time of anyone on the C4 tires on day two, which honestly, uh, we, we haven't seen Red Bull or McLaren on C4s, I, I believe. So, uh, yeah, we don't really know the pace of the other teams. Obviously, Mercedes did one C4 run, which put him next to Charles C4 time. And then Joe obviously put out his glory lap towards the end of day three. So, yeah, we, yeah, we don't really know if the qualifying pace is like is lagging testing, but obviously, we get to know this, uh, this from Grand Prix. You can pick Carl Sainz, which is a good pick. Um, pretty fair one. I'm gonna pick Charles because I'm, I'm just I'm a Charles believer, as I already expressed my predictions. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> I think he still has the edge of, of on Carlos, and I just feel like he's gonna gel with the car better than Carlos season. Um, and yeah, Charles for P two is uh, a safe bet, I would say. That's fair, that's fair. Uh, I, I, I've i got him in P3. So not far off. Uh, I think, again, I don't think the Ferrari will be slow. Uh, they showed a lot of better qualifying pace than they did race pace last season. Uh, I, I still think they'll probably have that qualifying pace. Uh, but hopefully have a bit more race pace as well. Yeah, I think I... Why is it different font? Uh, yeah, I, I heard what you said. I, I agree. Just I can't describe the font. Sorry. Uh, one sec. Let's be this. Yeah, for some reason it, it got different fonts. Uh, my bad. Anyways, uh, trolls look like for P three. I think uh, Ferrari looks strong. It's just that we don't really know testing and such. My P three is the reverse of yours. It's Carl Sainz. <laughs> um, I have to put it from here so it doesn't get screwed up. Carl Sainz for P3. So we pretty much win this with the same thing, just Ferrari's reversed, which honestly, it could go either way. Both drivers look very good in the, in the in testing, setting, both setting fastest lap times of their separate day. 
Yeah. Uh, we seem to believe in Ferrari to being the sec second fastest team right now, which obviously in my predictions, uh, it's it's closer that way. <laughs> okay. ERP4. Uh, so my P4, I'm going to go with Norris. Again, I don't think the McLarens were slow in pre-season testing, and I think uh, he's proven he's a good driver. And I'm actually excited this season for the McLarens just to be up there from the start, because obviously the last two seasons they sort of had to build their way up. And even last season they did phenomenally well to, where, to get to the place they were after a ter terrible, terrible start to the season. So, uh, yes, very exciting. Yeah. Well, McLaren can. Uh bring a kind of upgrade like last season where they just jumped by like a second in comparison to Red Bull and there's a pace which is very exciting at that point here McLaren they definitely looked like they uh, is an improvement over last year's preseason testing there's no doubt about that but there's still some some shenanigans there and they didn't seem like to straight up challenges to Red Bull that some of people like me expected them to be perhaps yeah they're definitely not to be written off this season i don't feel like they're gonna just suddenly just jump back into the midfield i think they're just gonna stay there it just uh yeah i don't have my i don't have them in my top five and i'm gonna straight up, straight up say that i got perez in p4 um second nice. red bull car i think the red bull is just very strong and in qualifying i think prior in qualifying could challenge red bull position but I think Verstappen is gonna have a pull by like two tenths of a second while Perez is just four tenths behind Max and that that will essentially mean that Ferrari is qualified out of Perez that's how I imagined things pretty much like last season I think as well if I'm not mistaken um yeah Perez didn't have the best test obviously with the with those reliability reliability issues uh during his full day which Hinders his running, but he seemed all right. Not like too confident. Seemed less confident than Max. But mm. I really hope for improvement over last year because that was that was horrible. Uh, so yeah, hopefully he can uh, build up on his good good starts of the season that he seems to have in Red Bull. That's that's a fair point. That's a fair point. I don't believe in him at all though because my next driver is Hamilton. <laughs> Uh, yeah, I'm going to finish off on how... Ooh, he's already red! Uh, <laughs> okay. Um, I, think, I think Hamilton is, uh, is going to have a good... Uh, uh, not, not a terrible last season at, uh, at uh, Mercedes, and I think just the whole midfield is going to be a lot closer at the start of this season than they were last season, shall we say, where... Uh, God, it was it was spread out, wasn't it? <laughs> yeah, yeah. I just I don't have as much faith in Mercedes, honestly. They they didn't look bad, especially in the race runs. They looked very competitive, but in in qualifying, I I just have no belief in them. I I would even be surprised if they finish like top six in qualifying, honestly. Um, yeah, I I got Fernando Alonso in my P five. Uh, Ooh. Okay, which uh, many people many people expect Aston to be a really bad car, not, not a bad car, but a much slower car than last season compared to the rest of the field. Uh, as obviously last year, we started off with Alonso being like so hyped up. He obviously finished on the podium in the first race. Yeah, it, it was a good yeah. start of the season, and um, but still he, he qualified like P six on the grid, I, I believe, on the Byron Grand Prix last year. P five. I feel like Aston is, is pretty much stayed the same. Not like they improved very much or just fell fell back. I think, uh, I think they're gonna be like up there, not at the Ferrari slash Red Bull level, just with that pack of McLaren's Mercedes and well Aston Martin. So, like I said, I, I think Alonso is gonna be the leader of that pack behind Red Bull and Ferrari. Right, fair enough, fair enough. I think, I think that, 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 you know, we can see from our our predictions we think different things, but also uh, very similar things at the same time. So it'd be interesting uh, when we jump into the season how it actually plays out. 
qualifying pace we don't really know yet, let's be honest. So, uh, yeah, very interesting when it comes to it. Yeah. And, well, we finally arrived at the Grand Prix itself. Um, I, I'm, I'm not getting my hopes up for, for the first Grand Prix, first race. I don't think it's going to be a surprise winner, and I don't think you think that as well. So you can put your obvious P1 <laughs> in the Grand Prix. Oh, it's sad. It's sad to think. And look, uh, even last season, Leclerc gave him a run for his money, but uh, oh, that might have been two seasons ago. I might have just completely fucked off last season. Um, <laughs> I can't even watch this race, by the way, because obviously it's been moved to Saturday, and rightly so. Um, but I'm, I'll be at football, so oh. <laughs> I'm going to miss the race live. Um, but, uh, yes, I f- hmm? It is unfortunate for you. Yes, yes. So, uh, but no, there's there's only one man it could be. Uh, yep, yeah, sadly, not a uh, very shocking prediction there. Yeah, I assume you're gonna watch the race later on. Um, yes, yes, indeed. Even though you probably know the results by then, and at least you will know that to to basically skip after the end of the race, so you don't hear that anthem once again, which I'm probably gonna do. Uh, hopefully not 24 times this season. Dutch Anthem kind of became the F1 outro last season. <laughs> I love the podcast room that they came up with. Yeah. Um, my P1 is Max Verstappen as well. Same reasoning, just just Max Verstappen going to win the race. There, there's nothing to talk about there. It's just another another well, potentially boring season in front of us, but I hey, mean, we can hope. We can yeah, hope. We we can hope. It's still it's still only. We can hope, but we won't predict. We won't go <laughs> out there and predict a, a wrong thing. <laughs> yeah. Just hope. Yeah, we we we're, we're competitive in this one. We we don't want to lose points, but we still hope that our predictions are wrong. Obviously. <laughs> yes, of course. Um. So yes, he 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 sets up. Nicely, and then uh, I'm gonna I'm gonna I'm gonna say Leclerc comes second. I think Charles has uh, proven a lot, and he's proven he's probably a better racer than Science, even if the one-off lap pace. And I said we'll go in uh, Science's direction. So yeah, I'm standing by that. I think Leclerc will be uh, second. I do think uh, it's gonna be harder for the Red Bulls to overtake this season. Obviously, they got rid of a little di- DRS trick last season, or it seemed. Like they got rid of it, so uh, we might get a bit more, a uh, bit more less overtakes than the Red Bulls. But uh, I think uh, the Ferraris will be quick, and uh, maybe give Max a challenge. Maybe, just maybe. Yeah, obviously, the most important thing would be that they need to. Well, the the chasing pack behind Max will need to keep up with the one second. Uh, by the end of the second lap, I think, because they moved the RS one lap earlier. I don't know if it's a yes. like end of end of the first lap or end of the second lap. I I don't know if it was like on lap three the DRS one. So I guess I guess lap two is already the DRS. So hopefully uh the, the Ferraris can stay up within one second of Max, which honestly it it, it could happen that Max is has a three second lead by by the end of lap one. <laughs> Let's be real, yeah. Um, Charles Leclerc for P two. I what did I have? Yeah, I have the same one. So no, no shock there. I think mean, the stop <laughs> is gonna stay the same. Uh, Charles is gonna try to challenge Max, but Max is gonna, gonna have too much pace in this car and just gonna cruise to the victory. I'm going so okay. Now we start getting risky. I'm gonna go because we've we've got the same ones. I'm gonna go for Norris in P3. Uh, okay. Again, I'm hoping that car's a lot quicker uh, than it was last season, and it did. It, it looked like it had a decent amount of pace um, in quality, and they had a lot of race pace last season. I'll give the McLarens as well as a uh, one lap race, uh, one lap pace. So yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna I'm gonna do a little Norris in there. Just to overtake science ruining science is a good qualifying performance. 
Yeah, um, it's like the exact opposite of thing that I thought of because McLaren seemed like the slowest car out of the top five in terms of race pace. Obviously, it was just just testing. We didn't we didn't, didn't know the yeah, engine yeah. loads and fuel loads. Uh, I really like your hope in McLaren. I also have hope for McLaren. It's just that uh, I'm putting. I think. Percy, for me, at the end of the season, they're going to be the ones up there challenging Red Bull. Okay. Which I know I didn't say in my uh, pre-season predictions, but uh, just coming off the coming off the testing. That's my prediction. Yeah. I think McLaren is going to be definitely stronger on other tracks. I feel like this, this particular circuit just doesn't suit the McLaren. Uh, this concept of yeah. that they have basically an evolution of last year's car, which was very good in high-speed corners, but not very good in low speed, which ultimately meant that yeah, Bahrain may not be the best circuit for that car. And the next that's up, yeah. next up, we have three high-speed circuits that may suit McLaren more. So that's where I'm probably going to put up McLaren in my top fives, uh, just not here. That's what I feel like it's going to happen. I, I, I'll be honest, it was partly because I thought you were about to put science next, and I did want to be different. <laughs> I'm actually not having science next, believe it or not. Okay. I'm, I'm having Checo Perez and P3 for the final podium spot. That's a fair option. As, yeah, the start of the season really sued Checo, and I I feel like he's going to not have not be as close to Max as he was last season, basically qualified like almost right behind him and in the race the race pace of Checo wasn't bad it was that Max was just faster overall and obviously Perez got held up by the Ferrari which overtook him at the start uh, which meant that Perez lost a lot of time to Max and Max just didn't really try to be fast so we don't really know if Perez really had pace at the race here Perez doesn't look very comfortable with the car, but I'm still gonna hope he's gonna get a podium at least, and you not know, just be like, like another instance of Perez just not performing to that car, which looks insanely good. I, I'm just I, I need to I need to say that again. The RB20 looks probably more scarier than RB19, and that's it's making it even more scary. Just uh, yeah. Uh, or before can go on. Uh, okay, my P4. I'm gonna drop. Uh, also gonna drop Perez. Uh, I think in our season he came through the field a couple of times to come a decent position. I think very similar. Obviously, we're sort of going off the date of last season, and it won't be a while until we can like sort of shake that. So I'm still going for very last season predictionies or predictions, but. Uh, yeah, that's why I'm sticking by Paris, uh, and I think he'll do well. Okay. Similar reasons to you, basically. I can't. <laughs> yeah. Except I think he's going to overtake together. Yeah. Um, he's the only driver that I don't think he would overtake his struggle. But obviously, you know, hyped up before the season started. Um, my my P four is Fernando. I feel like his free space is gonna is gonna thrive in the in this in this Grand Prix just like last season. I think it's gonna be faster in the race. Not just just not enough for a podium. Even last season it was like if Charles wouldn't have that engine problem, Fernando would have probably finish P4. And I feel feel like this is kind of the same thing as last season. Just Fernando overtaking signs but that's about it, yeah. Um, before for Fernando for me. Fair enough, fair enough. Uh, oh, this is a difficult one now. Um, uh, it's probably better for me to pick science. I do want to sort of be brave and put someone like Alonso or Hamilton just to have them on the board. A different car, I think, is a smart decision. Uh, when it comes to this, but I will, I'll, I'll end up putting size there just, just for the sake of, uh, you know, I think uh, there'll be uh, 
Uh, I think I think the Ferrari will be quick. Uh, as I said before, I think the Ferrari will be quick. I think it will uh, do well this season, and that's what, you know. I've got to put science in there at some point. Otherwise, you know, it's either that or he's crushed out. If I've started in P two and then uh, <laughs> he's ended in P five. Yeah, um, my my P five is the same. So I don't know if you if you like it, like it or not, it just uh, I, I assumed you would know that I picked signs, so you would pr- try to pick something something someone else, but we ended up picking the same driver. Yeah, um, I also had Carlos qualifying my top three, just not being quite quite there in the race, uh, unlike Charles. So, yeah, we got the same thing. Nice. Well, a very similar rule. Next up is fastest lap, however, and I'm going to go for a shocking one. I think the because the Mercedes will be a bit more off it. I think the Mercedes will go very uh, late on to get to the quickest tire and put down a fastest lap with low fuel. Okay, <laughs> that's interesting. Um... It's just a you know, it's one of those crazy predictions where they'll be a, be ahead. You also could have put it in the, your extra ball prediction list. You yeah, have something else. Um, my fastest lap is, is pr- pretty much the obvious. I think Max is going to have the fastest lap as well. Probably going to pit from the lead to pit for a fastest lap as well. <laughs> Just like he did a lot of the time last season. Uh, hopefully he's not going to have that gap, but if he does, is a fastest lap guaranteed. And even if, if that's not the case, I feel like the grid is the, the the pecking order is just so close up that there's not going to be a gap for a driver to pit for for new tires to consider the fastest lap. So unless it's like a P10 driver who's like ahead of the midfield, uh, I feel like he's gonna go to the fastest driver on the track, which in my opinion, Max Verstappen would would be. So that's my that's my reasoning. Yeah. So. uh that's that's my pretty you I, I think your prediction's way better uh but now we go to uh, now we go to our least impressive driver or well, sorry least impressive team first yeah. did we do it that order last year i can't yeah, remember i changed it a bit um, so it's like from the least can, least exciting to the me. most exciting <laughs> yeah least impressive team is uh, to start and uh, so I think I, I already said about this before i don't think the alpines are coming in this season very uh very quick and there's been a lot of rumours so I'm going to have to go with the Alpines let's be honest I think I have to drop an Alpine there you know I'm, you'd expect from last season for them to be midfield still and if they're not then that's going to be difficult yeah um, it looks very very bad for Alpine I put them in my lazy person team as well so it's not like we can gain points over each other is that Alpine just look generally very very bad, slow and unorganized. They they just keep being on a one hundred race or whatever plan that they've been on since like the Renault days. They haven't seemed to figure it out. Just to build a great car with a great team behind. They have a they have a very solid driver lineup in my opinion. Alcon and Gasly are two great drivers, and they just need the car to to show that. Up in the front, and it looks like this season Alpine just haven't built a good car. It just, I I thought they would remain pretty much the same, but it's it looks like it's the opposite. Yeah, yeah. So uh, uh, very similar for us. I don't really want to put the Alpine drivers though, but I think I'm gonna have to pick one, and I will pick Gasly. I don't think it'll be their fault that their car's so slow, but uh, if we're going least impressive, I think I have to. I have to at least take that on the nose. Yeah, yeah. Um, the, the the car's going to be slow, so it's probably not going to help them. Yeah, that, that's that's one of the things why I didn't want to put uh, Alpine drivers there as well. Um, I was very tempted tempted to put Ocon there because just because of the last season he had like five different. Uh, penalties during that race. It was like a meme at the start of the season. Here, I don't think they will generally drive like uh, like badly. The drivers they obviously don't have a great car this season. And 
I didn't really. I feel like they were gonna like finish next to each other, and it's like gonna be very difficult to put them in the least impressive driver, considering the team is not impressive in itself. So I wanted to put like a driver that I think is gonna underperform from the top top teams, but not Lance Stroll, because Lance Stroll is like the. It's not least impressive when Lance Stroll finishes P10. It's just it's just not. We kind of expect it to happen. Uh, yeah, I, I picked uh, I picked a bold one. I'm gonna go for Lewis uh, to struggle in the first race uh, against his teammate. Nothing that he would overcome throughout the season. I feel like just Russell is gonna have the edge in the first race okay. in both qualifying and the race on Hamilton, and therefore you would expect Hamilton to beat Russell. So that's why I chose Hamilton to be the least least impressive driver in this in this case. Uh, my most impressive team. So I'm going for a very different approach to you. My most impressive team is going to be Toro Rosso or Racing Bulls. Uh, I think they're going to have a quicker car this season. I think they've taken a lot from the uh, the Red Bulls. And yes, I think they're going to be a lot quicker this season when it comes down to it. Yeah, I also really wanted to go for them. Um, it's just... <sighs> I don't know. I, I I really want to believe in the in the Ferrari hype train. That's kind of kind of there. I mean, if if they end up even doing better than my predictions, uh, I feel like I would deserve the point. I I honestly didn't know which team to give it to because yeah, to, the the I, I don't know. Call it. I'm gonna call it Racing Bulls, I guess. Uh, the Racing Bulls team is expected to be in that P6 spot, so most impressive team they would pretty much need to fight for like p8 or p7 which i don't really think feel like that's really gonna happen i feel like they're gonna be strong probably get into q3 at least one of them uh it's just that i don't know if they're gonna be like the most impressive team and uh, I, I couldn't give it to anyone else other than ferrari if they end up getting at least a pole position and fight max for the win that's already going to be very impressive Considering the RB twenties uh, ominous piece. Uh, yes, yeah, fair enough, fair enough. I agree with that. Uh, I'm, I'm still going down a similar route with my most impressive driver. I'll go Yuki. Uh, I do think Daniel might be quite quick on this track, but you know, I'm sticking to driver, driver and race car, and I think Yuki uh, has a lot to prove this season. So I'm very excited to see what he d- he does. I think Yuki is probably my most pick driver last season as well so i'm not sure if i'm <laughs> really changing from that yeah it's a it's a very good one that you put yuki there because i was thinking about putting a racing bulls driver there and yuki has very good starts of the season he obviously in his first ever race in bahrain he scored points uh i think last season he got like p11 as well in uh, that car, which wasn't good at that moment. So yeah, UK has very good starts to the season. But I just had a, I had a feeling that Ricardo is going to perform well at this track for some reason. He looked very comfortable in, in testing, specifically. Uh, felt, I felt like he was more comfortable than Tsunoda. Uh, I just feel like Ricardo is going to be that driver to get into the top 10 and maybe score a, a point or two in this race. Yeah, fair enough, fair enough. Okay, cool. Uh, that's our, our driver and uh, team predictions. And f- I guess the final thing is the extra bold prediction. Now, I, I last season went very bold with all my predictions, if you remember. Yeah. Um, and I was literally thinking about doing that again this season. I was I was like, I was, I was going to say something crazy, like, there'll be... A free car pile up or something, <laughs> but uh, I'm actually going to go for something else. I think that Max Verstappen is going to lap eight cars. Eight cars. Yes, that's like lapping Haas, Sauber, Williams, and Alpine. Yes. Okay. Um. This big this- crazy. And look, some might retire, so I was going to say 10 cars, but 
I got yeah. that. I got that. Okay. If, if I, I should put ten plus cars. No, eight, no, no, sorry, no, eight I, plus. I think you can put eight. Uh, I'll, I'll allow it just because you can you can have a safety car, which pretty much like re- eradicates any any gap that there is. Oh, true. I didn't think about that. So <laughs> eight plus cars is completely fine prediction. I'm gonna allow it. Uh, Ryan doesn't tend to have safety cars though. Uh, yeah. This season. The gap to Red Bull from the other teams seems so closer than last year, even though RB20 looks crazy good. I feel like the teams that are going to be actually closer and uh, uh, eight, car, 8 plus cars lap, it, it may not seem very bold, but in my opinion, it's actually a very good pick for the extra bull prediction. Uh, mine, mine revolves around what we saw in testing for the most part. Um, I'm gonna have uh, oh. no DNFs in the entire race, as for the first race of the season, we don't any DNFs. We we don't tend to see that much. And in this thing, it was it was very impressive that there were so many, so, so, not so many, uh, so so little reliability issues. We obviously had uh, two for Williams on day one, then Perez had some issues on day two. But apart from that, there's like nothing you could. You could think of there was no engine failure for Alpine. Even Alpine as a, as a team, they looked extremely slow, but at least they looked reliable, which was an improvement over last season. So yeah, I just feel like it's gonna be like no DNFs, so therefore no severe crashes or mechanical failures. Is it bold enough? Yeah, no, I think I think that's a good bold prediction. I like it. Yeah, because uh, first first race of the season is always like the reliability is a huge question. Obviously, last yes, season, yeah. last season we had some DNFs, uh, like in McLaren where we're struggling. And the se- previous season, twenty twenty two, we obviously had two Red Bulls DNF. Twenty one, I think, had some DNFs, and twenty twenty, obviously, that infamous race where Latifi almost got points on his debut because of those those DNFs. Uh, there were like eighty DNFs that, that in that race, and Albon almost got a got a victory, but unfortunately was uh, sent to the gravel by Lewis Hamilton. Let's uh, yeah, let's forget that race. Anyways, uh, I think we come to the end of this prediction. Uh, I'm gonna thank you for coming once again to the season, uh, and let's hope for a more exciting season than the last one. Because towards the end of the season, it was like almost felt like we were doing the predictions on. Just because we had to, honestly, uh, there was like very little excitement about the Grand Prix themselves because we knew who was gonna win. So hopefully, it's not gonna be the case for this season. And yeah, um, let's let's enjoy it. Yeah, let's yeah. enjoy it. Can't wait. Okay, I'm gonna, let's go wrap it up. So thanks everyone who's been watching this video and has been watching our content for for the past months. Really, really appreciate it, and hopefully we can can grow uh, for the more this season. As we're gonna finally do a full season of these predictions and some additional content. Obviously, tomorrow we should put out a, a ranking video on liveries as well, um, where obviously uh, we also always differ in uh, in these kind of opinions. So I expect liver ranking to be very very uh, different from between us. So yeah, uh, make sure to check that one out tomorrow. And yeah, that's about it for this video. See ya.